Hey, Ryan, should we do this? Let's do this. Okay. Hello there, I'm Ryan Reynolds, co-chairman of the Welsh football club, Wrexham AFC. And I am Rob McElhenney, also co-chairman of the Welsh football club, Wrexham AFC. You know, at the heart of all sports is competition. And Rob and I, I think, well, we're pretty competitive guys. Mm. We are so competitive, in fact, that last year, Ryan and I made a bet. Did we? I don't remember that. Mm. Not Ryan, betio vun un in dimgali diski kamraig. Oh, you pick some up. Good. Hmm. Roido mor sikir, du wedoth o bathain da shevi, e golonoscopi un gohoides, os oith on medri gunaid. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah, Rob and I both, we turned. 45 this year, and you know, part of being this age is getting a colonoscopy. It's a simple step that could literally, and I mean literally, save your life. Mm. So, can we see it now? No. I would never normally have any medical procedure put on camera and then shared. Morning. It's not every day that you can raise awareness about something that will most definitely save lives. Going in. Going in. That's enough motivation for me to let you in on a camera being shoved up my ass. Ryan, it's the first time you've had a colonoscopy. Yeah. And, and we're filming it. You're filming which it, is which is like also it's just it's awful. The procedure itself doesn't take long. We talk, you know, 30 minutes, something like that. It's stunningly effective. I'm gonna eat a graham cracker. <laughs> you did such a good prep that I was able to find an extremely subtle polyp that was on the right side of your colon. Mm. This was potentially life-saving for you. I'm not kidding, I'm not being overly dramatic. I, I mean, I, this is exactly why you do this, okay? You had no symptoms. Yeah. All yeah. right, man. Okay. Yeah. I'm thrilled for Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Seriously, thank you for pushing me to do this. Can't believe you pumped all that aviation gin into my IV. I was <laughs> out like light. This is the polyp. I put, I just cut it off at the snare and it's gone. You are interrupting the natural history of a disease, of something, of a process that could, could have ended up, you know, developing into cancer and, and causing all sorts of problems. Instead, you're not only diagnosing the polyp, you're taking it out. So nobody would know that they had this. But he reached the age of, of screening, 45. He got a routine screening. And there you go. And that's why people need to do this. They really need to do this. This saves lives, pure and simple. They didn't find rosebud up there? My rosebud was a sled I shoved on my ass when I was a kid, so. Oh, that didn't seem so bad. Do you want to broadcast yours? No. Well, too bad, asshole. Because we filmed it. Those were your cameras? All right, 90 on the dot. All good. Thank you. Just sit here. Can I sit here to fill this out? He's not listening. I figure I can't go wrong in terms of comparing myself to Ryan. They either find nothing, and that means my colon was cleaner than his, or they find a polyp, all set, and it's either bigger than his, which is awesome, or it's smaller than his, which means I had less of an opportunity to have cancer. Either way, I win. How are you? I'm doing great. Basically, this test, a colonoscopy test, is the gold standard test for the prevention of colon cancer. So we think that colon cancer is a 100% preventable disease if healthy people get their periodic test. Okay, we'll get started in a little bit. Okay, thank you. I started watching your show, I love it. Oh, which one? Um, the... Welcome to Rexham. Oh yeah, thank you. Good. How do you feel? 
I feel great. Good. Can you lay on your back for me? Yeah. Thank you. Can I get you water or apple oh, juice? How's my hair? Beautiful. You have the hat still on. Can I take it off? Yes. Okay. There you go. You want a mirror? No. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not. I'm not that yet. Not that yet. Biscuits. Graham crackers, apple juice. So first of all, I have no bad news, okay? Only good news. And that is that today we found three polyps. Um, they were small. They were not a big deal, but certainly a good thing that we found them early and removed them. Because you did such a great job with the clean out, it was spotless inside. You crushed it and you made the job really easy for us that way. So is there anything that I can do from a preventative that I can lower. Right now, I don't think in polyp formers that there is strong evidence that a certain kind of diet makes a difference. What does make a difference is screening and surveillance. So getting in on time is the key. You made it so, like, so easy, so amazing. The staff has been incredible all the way through the process. I'm really happy to have you. Congrats. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of years too. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Didn't seem so bad. Mm.